Hello, people of the internet. My name is Johnny, and welcome back to another video. Today is the day. I will be making my updated tier list of all the skins currently in Five Nights at Freddy's Augmented Reality Special Delivery. The most recent skin as of the recording of this video is Big Bad Foxy, who isn't actually in the game just yet. He comes out later today. But we do already know quite a bit about him, so I'm gonna put him on the tier list. Also, 8-Bit Baby and Freddy Frostbear will not be on the tier list because they are not skins, people. They are their own characters. Anyways, let's not waste any more time. Let's hop right. Who is calling me? Hello? It's sponsor time, Johnny, my boy. <gasps> you boys know me. I'm a gamer. And gamers be gaming. Which is why I'm happy to announce that today's video is sponsored by Opera GX. Keep up to date with all the latest news and trailers in the gaming community. The Opera GX browser is the world's first web browser that is truly for gamers and is tailored for the gaming community. If you're a hardcore gamer like yours truly, then the Opera GX browser is tailor-made for you. It is extremely useful, especially for PC gamers, with its built-in GX control that enhances your PC's performance while gaming and having your browser open. It's perfect if you want to listen to music or just keep multiple tabs open while you're gaming and don't want your performance to suffer. The GX control allows you to limit the amount of usage on your CPU or RAM that your browser may take up. And the network limiter allows you to control the network bandwidth used by the Opera GX browser to gain performance in games and streams. Looking at a comparison between the Opera GX browser and Google Chrome, it's clear which website browser is the better option for performance. And going back to music, the GX player allows you to log into Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube music directly from the sidebar, and it's effortless to freely switch between the said platforms. And don't worry about having to pause your beats, because the player will automatically pause your songs when you start streaming any video or audio from a tab, and will resume the beats once the tab has finished. And to make sure you don't miss out on those very important messages and streams, the Opera GX has built-in Discord and Twitch integrations. Log into your Twitch account and get notifications when a streamer goes live. Opera GX also has integrations for Facebook Messenger, WhatsApp, and many more. Custom Customize your browser with special themes, wallpapers, and colors with accents inspired by neon lights and how they break the darkness of the night. The colorful backlight of the browser also works with the Razer Chroma. You can also use the video pop-out feature, which allows you to watch streams and videos while you're working or studying. I simply just don't have enough time to tell you everything about the browser. So use the link below or in the pinned comment and check out the browser for yourself. It's completely free, and tell me what you think in the comments down below by using the hashtag OperaGX. Thank you OperaGX for sponsoring today's video. And let's hop into it. So here we are in the updated FNAF AR skins tier list. As you can see, we have S all the way down to F. And you can't quite see all of them, but trust me, I do have all of the skins on here. Again, it goes from the first skin, which I believe was Shamrock Freddy back in like March of last year, to the most recent skin, which as of, again, the time of recording this, is Big Bad Foxy. Also, the music that you're hearing right now is actually built in to the Opera GX browser that plays when there's no other sound happening. I know the integration part of the video is done, but... No joking, I actually really do enjoy the browser, so again, please go check it out using the link down below. And let's get right into it. First off, I have two skins where I 100% know where they're going. Flamethrower, Bear Endo, and also Chocolate Bonnie. I, I, I love these skins. The design works so well, and Flamethrower, Bear Endo's uh, animation is so, so good. With the flamethrower and lifting up the, um... What's that called? The welding mask? I don't- I don't know. And also Chocolate Bonnie, he was, I believe, the second or third skin he released alongside this dude right here, Easter Bonnie. And his- his design is so simple, but it looks so good. All the bite marks taken out of him are fantastic as well. Also, I should mention that Chocolate Freddy and Chocolate Chica uh, are not on here because they're not in the game for some reason. And to give me a bit of a baseline, I'm going to put- oh god, Swamp Balloon Boy, I believe his name is. I don't like this skin. I don't think it's a terrible skin. I think graphically and design-wise, it looks amazing. It's just the design itself, but it just, it doesn't really look like Balloon Boy. I, I feel like they didn't quite know what to do with the balloon. Also, the face is so disgusting. Let me just say, I think it's a visually good skin, but like everything else, I just, I don't like about it. So I think I'm gonna put it in E. I don't think it's bad. Again, I think it looks good. It just, it looks good, but in a disgusting way, if you know what I mean. I'd say the same thing about this guy. I think his design looks great, um, but Frost Plus Trap is so terrible of a skin. <laughs> just because it, it basically just reuses the textures of Frostbear. It's so lazy, but it also did change the environment of um, his area, so I'd give that a plus. Right now, I'm feeling like a D, or maybe even an E. I don't know. I think the environment design was great, 
I just don't like his skin at all, because it just reuses textures from Frostbear. I'll put him on a D for now because of the environment. You have that going for you, but everything else I just I don't like about the skin. So Scorching Chica is <sighs> bad. I remember last time I said that Flaming Springtrap was just, you know, Springtrap on fire, but really that's only what Magma Chica is. Scorching Chica. I do feel bad putting skins in F, but I don't know. I feel like Chica is so bad. I think a solid F skin is this one. <laughs> if you saw my video, you'll know why. It's a bad reskin of a reskin. The animation was ripped right from, I believe it was uh, Jack O'Bonny, and then also his gameplay was buggy as, as F. Alright, let's move on to some good skins. I think Katrina Toy Chica, the detail on her is amazing. I know not many people like this skin just because it was, um, I believe it was Day of the Dead. And it was also uh, kind of crammed into the, the Halloween event, which had the Jackos, then also Plush Trap, I think? But I think the detail on the skin is amazing. Um... I don't know, I, it's not quite S tier, maybe A, maybe S, I don't know. Arctic Blow is awesome, I love that they changed up the music from um, Crumbling Dreams to the Nutcracker song. I think that was a great little, little change, the animation in the workshop is amazing, the design is amazing, it looks so, so, so good. I might even put them in A, you know? I think Mangle has some good skins as well. Um, I do like this one over Magician Mangle, believe it or not. I feel like this one has a lot more detail. I don't know if I'd put it in A. I think maybe they could have done a bit more with the animation in the workshop. Looking at the skins, I feel like you've got kind of the bad ones, the good ones, and then everything else is kind of like mediocre, you know? Kind of just... There. I think Radioactive Foxy looks alright. He's definitely not that good. Mainly just because he is the uh, the Flying Dutchman Foxy. I like the two hooks. I like the glowing eye. I like the transparent and the um, particles off of him. But also at the same time, there's not really much new to the design itself. And also these guys. I don't know why, but I never really liked these skins. The whole uh, Haunted Forest event, I wasn't really a fan of. For now, I'll probably have them like this. I do like them more than uh, Radioactive Foxy, I will say. Their animations and sounds are fantastic, but the designs, I don't know. I never really got behind them. I think they look good. I just don't think they look great. The Arcade Mayhem skins, I feel like, are a good example of not great, but not bad. I don't quite know how I would stack them up. Maybe like this. I really don't remember it being this difficult back then. Maybe because we had, like, half the amount of characters we do now. I think this baby's alright. Um, yeah, I'd probably put it there, honestly. I don't know. Her, I, okay. A lot of people got mad at me because I called this skin a, just a recolor, and, uh, Blackheart Bonnie, I believe. Not a recolor. Because, I mean, just look at, uh, Heart Sick Baby, I think her name is. She's just pink. But I do really like this Bonnie. Um, I think he had some good sounds. I'd probably put him in this ranking. Uh, I'll come back to it. Uh, Easter Bonnie. He's not a bad skin. He just doesn't really have much going for him, you know? Like, he's not very different. I feel like he doesn't have anything that really sticks out to me. I'd say... Maybe along this, like, rank D. I think for now, I'll put them in the rank... And then later on, I'll rearrange them. So again, all this is not final just yet. Firewalk Freddy is... A weird skin. I don't know why they made this dude. I'd, I'd put them maybe here ish um, Yeah, the firework Freddy. I don't know. He's he's Freddy, but with a big firework, you know I think his running animation is great. I like when he lifts up uh, his glasses his sunglasses in his uh, workshop Broiler baby's great. I'd maybe put her at like a B or C. I'll put her at a low B for now And again, I'll go back later on. I think her design is fantastic taking her scooper and turning it into an oven Her animations cool. Um, I don't think she has any significant sound changes now for me Big Bad Foxy has not been released yet He comes out later tonight, but I do know his workshop animation um, and also, I, well, obviously we know what he looks like. I, I don't think it's a good skin. I'll be honest. I think this is maybe one of the worst ones. Okay, definitely better than this guy, but I don't know. If they're two different skins, I hate them, and what the hell are you doing, Illumix? How are you selling these guys separately? If they're like the Arcade Mayhem skins, though, and one of them is like, a attack mode, and one of them is, um... Uh, the workshop. That is not that bad. But the fact that I believe his 3D profile icon has two separate ones, I don't know. But it is a bad skin. It's foxy with a bit of fur. 
right? It's just, it's, it doesn't look visually appealing at all. Avalanche Balloon Boy, or Blizzard Balloon Boy, Frostbite Balloon, I don't remember your name, dude. Is a mix of Rotting Balloon Boy, Swamp Balloon Boy, and Frost uh, Plush Trap. He's definitely down here. I don't think he look. actually, maybe not, because I do like your sounds, dude. I like his sounds. His animation in the workshop doesn't really make any sense, because it, it he, like, he has no joints. I'll put him in a B for now. His design looks weird, but it, it still looks creepy, which is good. Curse is interesting. I don't know why they made Curse just a Curse skin, not Curse Springtrap skin, if you know what I mean. I think his detail looks great, though. I'd maybe put him low B to C, honestly. I can't really remember his animations. For now, I'm gonna put him at, like, a high C. Little Red Chica is a good skin. I'd put her at maybe... Maybe a C. I think I'll move these guys up, honestly, because of their sounds. So, let me do that. Yeah, I'm gonna move these guys up because of their sounds. I think their design, again, is great. I was never really a big fan of it, just because it, it seems basic to me. Later on, I'll probably move them up higher, just letting you know. Ringmaster Foxy. He's a pretty good skin, actually. I feel like I... I feel like I didn't like these skins initially. I'm still not a huge fan of Clown Springtrap. I'd put him maybe at like a C. But Ringmaster Foxy, I've come to actually appreciate over the um over the over the time, over the years. Actually, I think when did these guys come out? I want to say they came out with Balor, which I think was August. I think I like Curse more than you, so I may switch these two. Maybe I won't. Ah, man, I don't know. Toxic Springtrap. Yay. I don't know. Um, I feel like I'm still not a big fan of this dude, and I don't know why. I know a lot of people like him. I, I just was never really a big fan of him. I still think he looks great. I don't know. Maybe, again, maybe a high C. I'll put him at C for now. Again, things will change. Uh, Flaming Springtrap. Man, I really didn't like the Springtrap skins, I guess. This guy I didn't like because it was just, uh, Springtrap but on fire. And I know it's supposed to be, oh, Springtrap when he's in Fazbear Frights and all that stuff, but, I mean... I don't know, man. His animation's awesome, I will say that. I'll put him at a B for now. So Black Ice Frost Bear is up next, and we also have this guy, so these two are left. I like... I like Shamrock Freddy, I like Shammy, as I used to call him. So, uh, Shammy was the first skin, which gave us a pretty good look at what they were going to be like. Definitely not the best, I'd maybe put him... He's basic, he's simple, but I think it works well. Maybe like a, eh, maybe a D, I don't know. And then Black Ice Frost Bear, uh, I'm feeling a C. I'm sorry, I gotta move him up. I, I, the nostalgia's hitting me. This guy's good, I like him. I'll put him at a solid B. All right, now I'm gonna go quiet a bit and I will come back with my final tier list. Okay, so it's been a little bit. I've moved, I've moved a Serpent Mangle up to A. I feel like I need to put someone else in S. I just don't know, you know? I feel like Serpent Mangle is a solid A. It's it's one of these two, or maybe even both of them. I don't know, but they're like, I'm so close to putting these two in S. I feel like the detail on both of them is amazing. Okay, so I did this because the animation for, uh, uh, what's your name? Ice Queen Ballora? Blizzard Ballora? Whatever your name is. Man, I don't even know your name. Um, your animation's fantastic, your your sound, your music in the game is, is amazing. But I like the detail on you more. God, I don't know, man. <laughs> and I also did a uh, rearranging of the bottom tiers. Um, I think I moved you down a bit, I moved you up, I moved you down. Um, I put these guys in high C because really thinking about it, I think they're pretty good skins. Their sound, their design. I don't know why I, I wasn't a fan of them. I'm still not the biggest fan of them, just because, again, they're quite basic skins. I may even move Arcade Mayhem down. Uh, maybe. Yeah, uh, yeah. Okay, I think I'm pretty good. I may, oh, I don't know if I should. I, uh, I'm just gonna do it. I'm just gonna do it, yeah, yeah. Let it be known that you are so close to being an S tier, but if your animation was a bit more uh, memorable, I feel like it was kind of basic. I feel like you could have gone S tier, but I don't know. Sorry. So I think this is it. I think this is my final tier list. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with this. Obviously, this is all my own opinion. Um, feel free to tell me your favorites uh, down in the comments down below. Yeah, I think I'm pretty alright with this. I think, yeah, I, I'm... 
I'm happy. I'm happy. So this is my tier list. Let me know in the comments down below. What do you think? Please don't hate me. Again, this is all my opinion. I think for the most part, Illumix is pretty good with um releasing pretty good skins. Of course you have, uh, I'd say like these bottom two tiers or like the bottom of the barrel. These guys are all right, definitely not the best. These guys are kind of basic, you know, I feel like they are, they're good skins, not really... Definitely memorable, but not as memorable as these guys. And then these five are like top tier for me. Again, I have these two down below. I may even... No. No, I can't. Uh, I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna change it. Yeah, so that's it. Let me know in the comments down below. What is your favorite skin? What is your least favorite skin? What do you agree with and what do you disagree with? Again, I did all this using the Opera GX browser. They were very generous for sponsoring this video. Thank you, Opera. My first sponsor. It's very exciting. So again, thank you, Opera. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Make sure to check out Opera GX browser using the link in the description or in the pinned comment. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.